Welcome to Accounting with Parkbench Tutors. In this podcast we're going to look at a worked example, we're going to continue our work on simple ratios and what we're going to do is to compare two different companies. So we're going to use the simplified financial statements in these two companies and we're going to take just a few of the simple ratios to examine the financial statements. We're not going to go through a complete range of uh, ratios. So who's this information useful to? Well, the information is useful to stakeholders, including investors, but there are other stakeholders as well. It can be useful to managers, to competitors, customers, companies selling to these companies, and of course to employees. So, here we have the financial statements for the two companies. They are Cutters Limited and TQZ Limited. You can see the amounts are given in terms of thousands of pounds. Our first task is to compare the return on capital employed for these two companies. So we start by saying what's the formula then to determine the return on capital employed. You might wish to pause and just write down what you believe the formula to be. The return on capital employed, ROCE as it's sometimes written, is the profit from operations divided by total equity plus the non-current liabilities. We often in fact express this as a percentage, so if we use ROCE as a percentage then we multiply by 100 over 1, so it's profit from operation times 100 divided by total equity plus the non-current liabilities. And in this exercise we're going to use ROCE as a percentage. So we have our two companies, Cutters and TQZ. We are looking for the return on capital employed. We've got the formula there. So for Cutters, it's going to be the profit from the operations is 52. And that's times 100 divided by total equity plus non-current liabilities. Total equity is 220. Non-current liabilities is 6 which will come to 5,200 over 226, which will come to 23%, so that's for cutters. We'll do the same thing for TQZ Limited, 185 times 100 over 3050 plus 98, we work that out, and it comes to 5.8%. Our second task, to compare the return on total assets for the two companies, so first of all then we're going to need the formula for the return on total assets. What's the formula? The return on total assets is the profit from operations divided by the total assets. And as a percentage of course you would multiply by 100 over 1 and we'll use the percentage again here. So we have our two companies, our financial statements, and we're going to do the return on total assets. So for cutters it's 52 times 100 over 230, which will come to 22.6%. And for TQC Limited, 185 times 100 divided by 3253 3 comes to 5.6%. You can see there's quite a considerable difference in those two figures. That's why in a later podcast we'll be asking you to see if you can give reasons for those and what the potential advantages or disadvantages for the companies are with these figures. The third task to compare the operating profit percentage of the two companies. So we need to know the formula for the operating profit percentage. The profit from operations times 100 divided by the revenue gives our operating profit percentage. So for our two companies then, taking cutters first of all, the profit from operations was 52, the revenue is 89, and that comes to 58.4%. And for TQZ Limited, the profit from operations 185, the revenue 986, and that comes to 18.8%. You can see again there's considerable difference in those two figures. Task 4, to compare the gross profit percentage for the two companies. So we need the formula for the gross profit percentage, which is the gross profit times 100 divided by the revenue. It's a fairly easy one to work out. So for cutters, we'll do those first again. Gross profit 64 times 100 divided by the revenue 89, giving us 71.9%. And 
and for TQZ Limited, gross profit of 399, the revenue of 986, giving 40.5%. Again, considerable difference between those two figures. Task 5 to compare the expenses ratio for the two companies. Formula for the expenses ratio is the operating expenses multiplied by 100 divided by the revenue. This, of course, is going to be a percentage. So for cutters, the operating expenses were 12, revenue of 89, giving you an expenses ratio percentage of 13.5%. And for TQZ Limited, the operating expenses 214, multiply that by 100, divide by the revenue of 986, and we get 21.7%. Task 6, to compare the asset turnover for the two companies. So we need the formula for asset turnover. And remember, the asset turnover is a measure of the revenue generated by each pound of assets. So the asset turnover then is revenue divided by total assets less the current liabilities. So we're going to work this out for cutters. The revenue is 89, total assets 230, minus the current liabilities, which are 4. That comes to 0 0.39. And for TQZ Limited, our revenue of 986, our total assets 3253, minus 105, comes to 986 over 3148 which comes to 0 0.31 so that's our asset turnover for these two companies task 7 to compare the current ratio of the two companies so we need the formula for current ratio which is a measure of liquidity liquidity then is basically how easy it would be for the company to meet the debts that are due remember it's only the debts that are due so we're not talking about long-term liabilities here. We're talking about current assets divided only by current liabilities. So we look at the current ratio for these two companies. So for cutters, current assets 65 plus 5 plus 11 divided by the current liabilities, which are 4. And that comes to a ratio of 20.25 to 1. And for TQZ Limited... 88 plus 147 plus 8 divided by 105 comes to 2.31 to 1. See vast difference there in the current ratios for those two companies. And sometimes we use what we call a quick ratio, also known as the acid test ratio, which is a very easy way to measure the immediate solvency of a business. So we take current assets, we subtract the inventories, and we divide by the current liabilities. So for these two companies, for cutters, current assets 81 minus inventories of 65 divided by current liabilities of 4 comes to 4 and TQZ Limited 243 minus 88 divided by 105 comes to 1.48 so then those are a number of different ratios that we've looked at for two different companies and you can see that very often you can find a considerable difference in the figures between those two companies and our next podcast then will be to look at and try and explain how those uh, figures how the differences really matter to the companies so that's an end to this podcast brought to you by Parkwinds Tutors narrated by myself David Hopcroft for more information, you can look us up on Facebook, or you can find us at parkbenchtutors.com. Thank you for watching and for listening.